So let's start with the unboxing first. Now plug the wire in and now do the quick setup switch on the printer select the language you want and now confirm the language select the country and confirm it and now select the time and you can just check the date and time on that now you have to install the ink cartridges the first step is to open the printer so in cartridge is placed here so if you just hold it like this and open this chamber and it will hold itself here and now i'll show you how to install the ink cartridges now click on the continue setup on the main screen and now go to the ink cartridge chamber remove the ink cartridge chamber cap here and now take the ink cartridge packing remove the seal and just take it out one by one so you will see there are four ink cartridges one is black and three are small other colors now you have to take the seal out of this as well so you just have to remove like this and there is an orange cap we have to twist it and open the ink nozzle now we are ready to install do it for the all the ink cartridges install according to the color as you can see m for m blue for blue yellow for yellow and black for black so this way we just press the ink cartridge little bit down it will lock itself so now black is at a separate place so once we do it now push the door downwards it will close the ink cartridge chamber and now we go on the display screen again here as you can see it's checking for in cartridges now click ok now i'll show you how to install the or how to load the pages and then we'll see if it prints out a printer alignment page so we'll just remove it and i'll place a4 size paper on that Now it says it's going to align the printer. It says printer is ready to begin alignment and to give you best print quality. So just press OK. So it will print an alignment page. Now just follow the instructions as written on the screen. So we have to place it on the top shelf that is on the scanner lid. Scanner. So open the lid place it on the scanner and put it here facing downwards close the lid and press the scan button option here now I press scan so it's scanning and in the final you will see the main screen where you can do copy print scan you can connect with the wireless everything you can do here so let's start with the scanning wireless scanning first you are using the printer's inbuilt Wi-Fi system and it's not the home or office Wi-Fi system so first thing is to switch on the printer and now go to your smartphone if it's Android or iPhone you can use for both and open or download the HP smart app from the App Store so once you do it now go on the printers display panel now here scroll down the top bar and click on the Wi-Fi direct icon now once you click on that you will see it displays the name of the printer as a Wi-Fi direct printer and a Wi-Fi direct password so write down the password click on setting check if it's if the Wi-Fi direct is on or off so you can make it on now go back click OK and now go to your Android device and open the Wi-Fi setting look for the printer's Wi-Fi name here click on that now enter the password as shown on the screen 
so once it is connected go back and open the HP smart app now here we have to add the printer so click on the plus button on the top you will see the name of the printer click on here again and this will add the printer here and now we can do the wireless print and scan so let's start with the scanning now open the top scanner bed and place a page facing downwards and close it now again go to your device and click on the printer scan option and click on scan so it will transfer the scan so just wait for that now go on the display panel as you can see the screen here now scroll down the top bar here and click on the setting on the top left now click on the network setup and click on the wireless setting here you have to switch on the wireless first so make it on click on that so it will search for the available wireless routers or if you want if you don't see like this if it is already on but you still have to connect with the different router then go for wireless setup wizard so this wizard will restart a new setup process and now you will see the same routers are available whatever is there and just click on that now we have to enter the password here now you click ok and it will connect to the router so click ok now once it is connected then you can start using this printer wirelessly thanks for watching